Hey everyone, my name is Sister Today. I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. It's been way over a year since Jailbreak's been released, so I'm going to do a quick comparison. Like 10 things you can no longer do in Jailbreak that used to be possible somewhere between like day one and like now. So I guess without further ado, let's go ahead and just get started. So number 10 on my list is the ability to tase innocent players. So right now, if I tase my uh, random account here, he's innocent. I tase him, he doesn't do it, like, nothing happens. Whenever, like, he becomes guilty like that, whenever he just, like, punched me, now I can tase him, as you can see, he falls, and I can arrest him. Now, this used to be, like, kind of annoying to innocent players, because, like, everybody would be getting tased, like, they just, like, fall to the ground. I think they made it more like prison life, where only the guilties will get tased, so, like, the innocent players wouldn't be, like, super angry, but here's the thing. Now, you can just use a taser to tell whether or not the uh, prisoner's innocent or guilty. If they if you tase them and they stay standing, or they, like, they don't ragdoll, then they're innocent, unless they have the no parachute glitch. Number 9 on my list is going to be the value change of like the robbery. So, like a few days ago, I think Bad CC he made the train only give 50 every second instead of um, 100. And like a while back, I believe like day 1, the bank would give 100 cash per second. And now it does like 33, so it's like one third of the speed. And the train is one half the speed. The jewelry store used to be um, uh, 250 per box, but now it's 500 per box. It's like doubled, probably to make it so that big or double bag people wouldn't always have to wait a second round. But yeah, I feel like um, the bank, especially like now, especially whenever you have the bigger duffel bag and you don't have a key card, if you ha get like 300, if like the rate was um triple t the time of like right now so if it was back at 100 per second then you'd be able to get into the at a secret explosion door before like it closes again so i don't know like i honestly feel like it's kind of like well balanced except for the train like the train should give even faster because considering how easily you can get glitched out of the train number eight on my list is the ability to escape jail while jumping on like certain objects so the most obvious one is right here you know normally people come over here and they like start punching this thing and you should like before like um, an update like sometime in the fall i believe you could still like jump on this door frame like just to show you let me just go onto like a random door frame just so you can like jump on the door frames like this it's like basically any door frame you could step on but like after that update you can only like step on the far left one it's only this door over here that got affected because previously you could like just jump on the middle here and just jump over this fence and escape jail fairly easily like that and like the cops, it was a really great way to escape the camping cops, but like, you know, they're camping cops. They shouldn't deserve to be like super overpowered. And also whenever um that uh, door thing came out, there was a sign over here. And you'd be able to like jump on the sign and like jump over the fence. But now this sign, it, like it's no longer under construction and like you just, you can just like jump over players' heads to get over. But like, I feel like some of those, they might have been a bit cheap, but like... Honestly, like, whenever cops are literally just camping every spot, you kind of wish that, like, because that when you, like, have 10 seconds or so to, like, before the, you can escape because of the punching. And I feel like in the 10 seconds, cops can very, very easily arrest you. Now, this next feature here, like, it's only on certain servers that it breaks, and, like, on other servers, it's working fine. Like, on VIP servers, helicopters, like, if I get in a heli, I can still, like, I can still whack this Camaro halfway across the map, but, like, Especially larger, laggier public servers. The cars on those servers just tend to just stay in place and not move at all. Number seven on the list is, I guess, slinking cars across the map in like the vehicle glitches, like the Tesla flying glitch when you shot out its tires. That was like amazing while it lasted. You could get like cars flying everywhere. And like the Bugatti like squeezing in the jail door over here, like when you could push Bugattis inside here and make them fly. That was also pretty amazing. Like, I'm, I really miss, like, those flying vehicle, like, things, and whenever you would ram, like, two cars head-on, like, they would both fly out of the map, like, straight-up vertical. Those were the days of, like, super old jailbreak, like, I'm talking basically a year ago. I really wish that I'm flinging cars is back, because it'll just add a little bit more of a twist. Like, I don't really like it when car and car ram together, just makes one of the cars stay in place and the other one, like, fly backwards at, like twice its original speed. I don't feel like that really makes any sense. Now number six on my list will be um, jumping over the jewelry store camera barriers. So usually like before, I believe like on day one of the jewelry store release, this barrier over here and this barrier over here were like, sh this one was non-existent. I know that for sure. And this one was so short. Like I think you, if you jumped at the right angle, if you jumped on this platform, you could like jump over here and just like jump onto that one and just bypass the cameras completely. 
and like this one you could just like jump across here and bypass the first camera so I kind of really wish that those are still here like well I really personally don't care because I can do the jewelry sarabi no problem I think like people like Nub Neb and Joey would probably want that it's just like makes the obby a little bit easier save a little bit of time you can like bypass this one if you like just jump here and just shortcut across here so number five on my list will be the ability to punch the jewelry store from the outside so I know like a while ago before Bad CC made like the uh, boxes um 500 rather than 250 like boxes on the edge of the store like right over here they were close enough to the uh, outside where you could like punch it through the uh, wall right now like it sometimes works and it sometimes doesn't but you can see like these boxes over here like previously this back edge like touched the back of this area so if I come outside here and go around and I go to that exact spot over like about somewhere over here and you just like punch all the boxes and like get some quick money while like people are robbing the jewelry store selfishly or something like that. There was a short period of time where you could just get like free 1,500 cash from the jewelry store every selfish robbery. I really wish Shadow Lum there were still ways to do that because honestly the amount of people that rob just solo and like the robbery ends and you can't go in through the roof again. It just like feels annoying like it just feels like the jewelry store is just built to be selfish. Now this next feature here was like fairly recent. It will be number 4 on my list. It was the ability to tow vehicles. You guys might have remembered like the day that the army heli came out bad cc had a feature so that you could just like have someone grab on the rope and then get in the car and then you just had to jump in and out of the driver's seat and you could basically fling people inside their cars halfway across the map and then bad cc decided to patch it now basically like every jailbreak youtuber like creek nub them me joey and like a few other people we like all like was like come on bad cc and ask them well you really had to remove that feature it was like one of the best features of the new update i mean i think they said they were like working on some of the bugs so it might be coming back but for the moment it's like no longer existed in the game like whenever i try to like get in a vehicle with a rope i'm gonna go ahead so you can see now that i'm on the rope and i press e the uh, circle just like does that red thing which basically means denied like if it seems familiar it's whenever you try to arrest someone like right after you arrested someone else too soon or like you're trying to like pickpocket someone while you're in handcuffs or something like that basically it means it does not work anymore bad cc i don't know why he wanted to do that like he just took away like half the fun of the new army heli now this next feature here will be number three on my list and it was the ability to enter cars through the wall so you know how like now whenever you enter vehicles there's an e-circle right so whenever e-circles are first introduced in the game like to basically everything like you used to just like come over here and just run into the vehicle i think this was like june like whenever the jewelry store came out but what you could do, there was be like no object collision, so like you could press E and just teleport out of the jewelry store into your car and drive off. Now that would have been really great for people that hated the obby, especially like Joey the player, who like we all know he dies in there and sometimes Creek also dies in there, so those people that aren't the best at obbies, like especially the jewelry store one, they could like just use this, but the more like even better than just escaping the jewelry store was basically what you could do is drive this car all the way here into the bank. So you'd be able to like drive over here at the bank and what you'd be able to do is like whenever you're in the middle of a robbery and you don't have a key card and you gotta escape, you just press E and go through the wall in your car and just drive off and instantly collect your money. It was probably like the best no key card bank robbery feature in the history of this game. I honestly wish that, well now for the bank it's still there but like jewelry store. I feel like the obby should be there but like there's always gonna be cops camping at the top. Maybe like an alternate escape would have been good which like the car would have been like a great alternate escape. And number two on my list was the ability to like basically just whenever you could like no clip through walls and like anti-selfish robbery tricks so basically what that was in case you guys are not aware of if you have watched my uh, Creecraft sucks at jailbreak video released in february 2nd Creecraft rage compilation basically what you do is just turn in here and you could just like turn around and stick your legs through here and like open up this door you could also do that in the bank vault and instantly collect your money it was probably the best glitch when it came to jewelry store robbery like the day that glitch got patched i was like okay now the selfish robbers are taking over again but like it was a great like um alternative to waiting like the jewelry store especially like because we all know everyone robs the jewelry store alone so basically what we do is like open that up and you can go inside but cops could also do that so like once everyone started knowing about that Police officers took like less than 24 hours to realize they could use that glitch too and go inside and just make everyone rage by camping inside of the jewelry store. And number one feature that has been eradicated from the game, I'm gonna go ahead and like just switch my outfit and that probably just gave it away probably what it was, is the snowman and penguin glitch. Right now you can see snowman, whenever I try to glitch, like the body's like just super squished. You can see it just turns from a circle to like 
skinny oval, which is like the weirdest thing ever, but like, for some reason it actually um, works and stops this glitch from happening. So, in case you guys are really unaware of this snowman and penguin glitch, you basically just crouched, and then the snowman would just immediately take off, and the penguin, you just crouch and jump, and you would just super speed slide. I believe Penguin was faster than basically all the cars except for like Lambo, Ferrari, Bugatti, those vehicles. And the snowman was faster than every vehicle in the game including Volt's bikes. The snowman glitch was just absolutely broken and the only downside was that it didn't work on ramps. But honestly, kind of cheap. So I'm kind of glad they patched Like Police officers would think it's cheap but it honestly, like I feel like it makes the game more fast paced. So I really miss this because like what I usually do is just like snowman all the way over to the escapes. And now you just have to like painfully, slowly, casually walk here and the best part of it is that the snowman and penguin glitch were not affected by your health so there's no speed reduction because of that and it was just the best glitch ever that has existed in this game i guess that will conclude my um top 10 features that you no longer can do in jailbreak so if you guys enjoyed this be sure to press like comment subscribe let me know in the comment section down below which one of these would you want bad cc or or asimo to add back in the game and i will see you guys next time <laughs>